All right, we're back. Uh, I tried. Up, I can't update the stream info via uh, Streamlabs. I don't think without uh, going offline. Uh, I did try to change it to Mega Man Two, and it should say Mega Man Two. Maybe in a in a minute or so it will. Um. I don't know, maybe if you guys refresh, we'll be able to see. But, um... Not that I think it re really matters very much. I don't think anybody's gonna come in here because they were looking through for, uh... Mega Man 3. And they're gonna say, hey, what is this bullshit? This is Mega Man 2. This guy doesn't know his shit. He doesn't know which Mega Man he's playing. Still, um, looking at those dropped frames, looking, uh, pretty good there, with 1.5%. I'll definitely look into that, as I said before, because, uh, I don't like that. I don't know if it's the biggest deal, but it it's going to bother me. I smelled food, but it was not for me, I guess, so I'm microwaving a butter garlic shrimp bowl. I... That, like, sounds good, but I randomly stopped liking shrimp, like, out of nowhere. I used to love shrimp. And then just, like, one day I had it, and I was like, nope, nope, don't like this. Anyway, Mega Man 2. Double feature tonight. Aren't you guys lucky? Um, not gonna... I was planning to stream this at some point, and I would have done difficult, because that's like the original, uh, Japanese level of difficulty. But, since we've been running for a while, and I'm going to be getting sloppy, probably, let's just do normal. So, here's, here's the big question, because everyone seems to do a different one. What is your order for Mega Man 2? What is the boss order you do? Because everyone I've talked to seems to have, like, slightly different variants of, like, who they start with, and, you know, who they go to to get what item, and... And even I sometimes change from one playthrough to another, but I... Most people say they do Metal Man first. I always do Flash Man first. I think he's... I don't know, I like having... Uh, well, you get the item 3 from him. That's not actually that useful. I just feel like he's like the easiest to, to take out with the Buster. So I do Flashman, uh, Quickman obviously next, uh, Metal Man, and then things start getting weird. Uh, you can do Bubble Man, and from then, uh, if you wanted to go to who is weak against Bubble Man's weapon, you would go to Heat Man. But I don't go to Heat Man because of the section in his stage with the disappearing blocks that is really just too annoying to bother with. Uh, so instead, I take, uh, Metal Man's weapon and go to Woodman stage, which I use to be Air Man, and then I get item two, and then I go to Heat Man, uh, and then, uh, Crash Man, use Air, Air Shooter on Crash Man. I don't know, it, it kind of, like, differs depending on how I'm feeling. More or less, I've done it the same way 
uh, since I first played the game. Josh says, Metal Man first, always. A lot of people say that. I feel like I would get a lot of weird looks from people if I knew anybody who like cared that much and talked to them and we actually had this conversation and they were like, hey Nico, who do you start with in Mega Man 2? Do you start with Metal Man? I'd say no. They'd be like, what the fuck's wrong with you? I don't even start with Metal Man in the Game Boy game. Even though you probably should. I have a good pattern down for Crash Man, Clash Man actually, that I do first. But I will stream that game uh, another time. Probably in a, another double feature because that game is possibly triple feature. Um, I could definitely do Mega Man 2 and Mario Land 1 in one stream and possibly have time left over for something else. Maybe Herbie's Dreamland. Maybe a triple feature of those three. So. Maybe one day. I think I used to do Airman first uh, because that's what Nintendo Power recommended. Really? And it is a good one to start with because of item two, yeah. Um, I, you know that song, and it was kind of famous for a while, because there was like a, a music video that somebody made, it's a Japanese song, but it's like, I can't beat Airman. Uh, I will have to look up who that's by. I have it on my fucking MP3 player. And yes, I still use an MP3 player. Um, yeah, there's a song all about not being able to beat Airman, and, like, they really want... Ah, fuck. I knew I wasn't gonna get it the first time on stream. Uh, there's a song about, like, not being able to beat Airman, but they want Item 2 because they can't get to Heat Man without Item 2, and... I don't know, I haven't actually heard it in a long time. But Airman is not really that hard as it's made out to be. Especially on normal difficulty. But you could easily take him out with just the Buster. In fact, you know, for a good portion of the fight, because uh, Leaf Shield will just bounce off of his... Ah, will just bounce off of his tornadoes, you might as well just use the Buster anyway. needs flash stopper save that for the boss a whole 20 minutes of content yes but i mean mario land Mario Land, Mega Man 2, and Kirby Streamland, all on the Game Boy, can maybe amount to like an hour and a half of content. I'll do Kirby's Dreamland on the extra mode to make it take a little bit longer. And if I could go straight to the hard mode for Mario Land, I would do that too.
I do not know why Streamlabs... <laughs> it says three viewers in chat, and I trust that, because that was right the last time, the, the viewer number. But when I click on the users in the chat, I think it just shows me anyone who was here at any point in time. Because there's like 15 people on the list. But I will say, again, really, thank you guys for being here. And for chatting. Can't ask for any more than that. But this looks great on the capture, too. That sprite overload looks fantastic. I'm sure in the VOD, uh, Mega Man is just not going to be there at that segment. He's going to be invisible. name if uh, the Mega Man 2 Game Boy credits are to be believed. His name is Pyrobot. P-I-E. Or possibly Pier Obot. But I'm leaning towards the first one. Part of that chain was gone. Uh, yeah, like the the sprites on those weird um, like chandelier looking things are like only like certain tiles of them will go in and out. But but Mega Man in his in his entirety uh, flickers at that point. So I wasn't sure you were either going to not see him at all or he's going to look like he wasn't flickering at all. So now's where things can start changing up, but I'll go Bubble Man. Probably doing wonders. Oh, geez, for the bit rate. <laughs> or maybe it looks fine. I don't know. I know uh, heavily, like, dense animated backgrounds like this tend to not look good on the capture. That'll stop in a second here. Here's your shrimp, Sam. Are they prawns? Thank you. 
So I'm just remembering, and this would have been better to have brought up on the previous stage. Uh, my first exposure to Mega Man in general was a friend of ours had Mega Man X uh, on the Super Nintendo, and the very first time like he showed me it, I misheard him. Unless he misspoke, I don't know. But I think I misheard him, and I thought he said Metal Man. And so for a while, I, I and I, I really liked the game. Like I was like enthralled by it, and I was like thinking about it a lot later on. Um, and I just kept kept thinking like, wow, that Metal Man game was so cool. I want that game. And you know, obviously, I realized you know like the next time I saw him. That was Mega Man, but obviously Metal Man is in fact a Mega Man character that I learned later on because I didn't get this game till later. They are shrimp, apparently. Mystery solved. Thank you. So now, you know, if you wanted to be proper, you would do Heat Man next. But Wood Man is weak enough to the Metal Blade, so we'll do him to beat Air Man, and then take Item 2 to Heat Man stage. Which I think is interesting that they kind of had this one, like... What am I doing? There wasn't, like, a set boss order. Like, pretty much from Mega Man 4 onward, there was, like, a set order. That each boss was only weak to, like, one weapon. But this one, and, like... Like, the first three, you can kind of go in different orders, because different bosses are weak on different levels to, uh, to, uh, other weapons. I don't think I did a good job of explaining that. But basically, it feels like there are more orders that are possible within the first three games, but then from, like, four onward, everyone does the same order consistently. Mega Man X was also my first exposure to Mega Man. I don't think my parents had Mega Man games, and I'll be honest, I'm not sure how we got into possession of it. I, I don't have, like, I feel like a lot of people I've heard over the years have, like, a mystery game story. Like, this game that they just have and they don't know why. Or, like, they just found. And I don't have a story like that. I've never had a game that I just, like, I have no recollection of getting or, like, that I found on the side of the road or something. Or stole from someone. One had a pretty consistent order, two, more than two anyway. Two is really odd in that regard. Um, yeah, there's like, um, there's like a, one other way you can do the bosses in Mega Man 1, I think. And I can't think of it on the top of my head. I think it involves, like, not using Gutsman's weapon against Cutman.
Could have been one of those things my dad bought because the art looked cool, but I don't remember it having a box. I feel like it might have been borrowed from a friend because it ended up going back to him after a while. I, um... Um... I used to, uh... Do you ever have... I feel like this has to be... A common experience for people around my age of lending a game to someone and then they would give it back to you with all the files erased and they would be like oh, I don't know how that happened it was fine when I played it and that happened on quite a few occasions with me and it was never like with an actual friend it was always like some neighbor kid that we were just kind of friends with by the fact that they lived nearby. And it was like, you know, your mom would be like, uh, lend your friend this game, because they asked for it. And then you, they would give it back and like, all your shit would be erased. That definitely happened to me with, uh, Kirby Superstar. And it happened several times with the same person, so... That guy can eat a fucking dick. I hope his life is horrible now. Because he erased Kirby Superstar for me. And I filled that file back within days. Therefore, he should have a horrible life. I think it's only fair. In reality, he's probably having a better life than I am. I feel like I should say something to offset all that, but I don't know what. <laughs> hey, here's Airman. So we... here is um a neat little thing for me to uh, talk about and not talk about. Uh, people's lives being horrible. Um, if you have the Leaf Shield still running when you defeat Airman, or probably any boss, you will not hear the drum track during the item uh, acquiring screen. A little bit of trivia for you. Now, we can do Heat Man. And watch me somehow still fail the block segment. I love the designs of some of these, like, just incidental enemies in the early Mega Man games. And, uh, I have, like, the, uh, the art book for Mega Man, like, the original series, and just looking at, like, some of that concept art for them and seeing, like, how they had to, like, translate that into, like, little tiny sprites with dot artwork is so cool. And... I feel like that must have been, like, really fun. Like, I would love to do something like that. Just design a bunch of shit, you know, throw whatever at the wall and see what sticks. Probably just 
use Metal Man here. See, I can't even do this properly. This isn't the hard part. I w oh, Jesus! <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Oh, God. That is embarrassing. <laughs> I looked over at chat for like it because I saw some new text, and that was the worst possible time to look at chat. You had two copies of Final Fantasy IV with different cart indents? Oh yeah, I have like some copies of game, like I have different copies of Super Mario World that are like the actual cartridge is different. One of them I kept all the saves on because there were different points in the game that were interesting for Babby Me to not understand the gameplay. No, I will not call it Final Fantasy 2. I don't, you could call it whatever you want and I won't know. I have no frame of reference for the Final Fantasy series. I know like the numbers are different between Japan and the West. But which one is which, I don't know. That is not a series I ever got into. And probably never will. And I will definitely never play Kingdom Hearts. I don't have anything against it. I, it's kind of a cool idea, but I just have no interest. I'm sorry. I'm not going to bother with that life because I'll probably fuck that up too. I'll just get over here. Hour 2 is 4, and Hour 3 is 6. Those are the only ones that are different. I thought there was more than that. But I, I'm not questioning you, I just... I don't know why I had it in my head that there was like a whole bunch that were... like, off by one number for some reason. Final Fantasy never, never interested me. A lot of RPGs didn't. I'm surprised I like the RPGs that I do. Which is just the Mario RPGs, which is a given that I'm going to play them. And then Pokemon and the Earthbound series. I don't think I've played like any RPG outside of that. I would play Yume Nikki. But that's probably the only one I have in mind of, like, wanting to play. Dragon Quest seems cool. Yeah, um, I mean, I don't think Final Fantasy is uncool. I just, it does not interest me, and similarly, uh... Dragon Quest also doesn't really interest me. I think it's very cool uh, for both of those three. I, th I think it's very cool that uh, Final Fantasy and now Dragon Quest do have representatives in Smash. Especially considering, you know, 
Square had broken ties with Nintendo for some quite some time. So now it's like they're back. But in terms of, uh, I don't know, has anybody played with uh, the hero in Smash yet? Because that's, I, I'm not, I didn't buy Joker, I'm not buying him. I don't know enough about these characters to care or want to play about, uh, on them, uh, as them, rather. Um, but Banjo will absolutely be... That'll be my first uh, DLC purchase. I don't even remember what DLC I purchased for uh, Smash 4. I think Lucas was the o Lucas and Mewtwo. I think were the only ones I bought. Wait, what happened to the stars in the screen? Yes, um, if you hold the A button when uh, selecting a boss in Mega Man 2. For some reason, the stars turn into birds. I don't know why. I guess th that had to be a purposely put in Easter egg, but. I did not see the mini directs because I figured it was all going to be about the hero and I wouldn't, like, none of it would matter to me, so. I had to buy Final Fantasy VII for the Switch, even though I'll probably never had the time to play it, just because Final Fantasy 7 on a Nintendo 7, uh, on Nintendo system, is such an event. It is. That's like, if you told somebody that back in, you know, when did, whenever that game came out, you know, like late 90s or whatever, if you told somebody that back then, like, oh hey, this game is going to be on Nintendo Switch, they'd be like, no, -uh. Square doesn't like Nintendo anymore. They don't have discs. And you can say, guess what? They still don't have discs. And Final Fantasy VII is on there anyway. It was a cool look into how the character works. He's like Robin turned up to 11. Oh gosh. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I haven't played Smash in a while. Um, and I don't really have much reason to right now. And I never play online, so... Maybe when Banjo comes out, uh, I'll start playing online. Excuse me, online again. Um, and then maybe I'll see some of the hero in action, but for now I'm like not. I was, I played the hell out of this Smash Brothers in the beginning, like more than, I got way more into this, uh, Smash than any other one, I think, in the past. And then just out of nowhere, like my interest just dropped off. It is my third most played Switch game. Uh, Mario Maker being two, and Mario Odyssey being one. And Mario Maker is likely going to pass that soon. Sometimes you can one-hit kill uh, Crash Man if you're playing on normal, but I rarely get that to happen. Oh, hello. How are you? Thank you for coming. I apologize, we're kind of uh, nearing the end here. We did all of uh, Mega Man 3, and now we're just at the Wily stages on Mega Man 2, and uh, probably going to be stopping after that, because I don't know what else I could do without running myself mentally into the ground.
but thank you for coming anyway. As you can see, there's not many people here, but I appreciate anyone who shows up. This may not have been, you know, a weeknight, uh, maybe not the best time to stream, but I'm just going to kind of be doing it whenever, and I just kind of hope that doing it more leads to more. But who knows? Anyway, this song probably I feel like this is like the second most well-known song in all of video games right behind the Mario theme. Like this has to have been covered so many times by so many people and remixed and used in so many different things. With good reason. It's an amazing song. Yes, time for the Wily One music. I'll just leave it here for a second. Best BGM ever. It is way up there. And, well, I'll, I'll tell you in a sec. I, I'm reading the chat real quick. Love me some Mega Man 2 anytime, any day. Well, at least you're here for some of it. You're here for the end of it, at least. And I thank you. You can always... <laughs> You can always go back and watch the VOD later, if you really want to see somebody, some random person play Mega Man 2. Because I did a really bad thing in Heat Man stage. Uh, anyway, I was going to say, uh, in terms of like video game music and composers, I don't know really any of the Mega Man composers, and they kind of change from game to game, like, I don't believe there is, uh, like, one, uh, you know, consistent composer throughout the series. So when I, I was just talking to my brother, like, my top five video game composers, and as much as I like, uh, Mega Man music, I can't really put anybody on that list because I just don't know them well enough and they may not have composed enough for me to say that, like, you know, for me to put them in a top five. Oh boy. This is also going to be bad for the capture because there is a lot of flickering going on in that segment. You find your rhythm if you're new to streaming. Anyways, uh, always be sure to play what you love, the streaming is effortless. I generally speed run Mega Man 2, play ROM hacks, and other Mega Man games. Well, that is awesome to have a, uh, a, a Mega Man speed run. Well, obviously a big Mega Man fan here. Um, but a Mega Man speedrunner, I apologize profusely in that case for my gameplay. Um, as, as well as I know this game, I can't quite put myself on autopilot. Um, this is my second stream, and my first stream was the other night, and I played Donkey Kong Country 2, and that I can just, my hands do all the work, and I could just talk the whole time. And tonight has not been as successful in that regard, and there have been a lot of, uh, not a lot, but a decent number of gameplay uh, flub-ups. But, yeah, thank you for coming by anyway. Uh, I mean, I I love Mega Man. Oh, boy. See, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, Mega Man is, like, my probably my second favorite uh, game series after Mario. Probably due to the fact that it has, you know, it's a 2D platformer. But I also love robots. And, uh, you know, it... It captivated me early on in my uh, life with like its character designs and stuff and you know I've been hooked since uh, mid 90s I guess whenever whenever I found out I was saying earlier 
whenever I found out through a friend about Mega Man X. That was my first exposure to Mega Man, and then I bought Mega Man 2 for the Game Boy. Just because it was like, I saw a Mega Man game in the store. It wasn't even new at the time. Um, but it was just like, I wanted a Mega Man game. Because seeing Mega Man X was like, so cool. And I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I just wanted any Mega Man game. And I didn't know the difference... Uh, between like, I didn't know there was like, an X series and like, the classic series. And much less that there would be more series in the future. So it was just like, I saw Mega Man, I was like, I'm gonna buy it, and that was Mega Man 2 on the Game Boy. A game that a lot of people consider to be less than stellar, but I love, I guess probably just out of nostalgia, and because it was like my first. Um, I would definitely, like I, I said earlier, I would definitely play that at some point when I get more viewers coming. Uh... And that will probably be, like, a triple feature with Mario Land and Kirby's Dream Land because it's just so short. Cause that, I mean, I, I tried to... I am not a speedrunner. Uh, by any means. But I will occasionally try to play games at a quick pace. And... I've tried to do that with uh, the Game Boy Mega Man 2 on a few occasions, and I've beaten it, like, within... 20 minutes, I think. Like, 20 to 25 minutes. So it is not a long game. It is definitely, like... Uh... It's like, it feels shorter than... Despite having more levels than uh, Mega Man 1 on the Game Boy, it feels shorter than Mega Man 1. I could... I mean... You know, this is thinking way too far ahead, but I would definitely like to stream every classic Mega Man at some point, and some X. But I don't have many of the others, aside from that, so... But I, you know, aside from, like, the Game Boy games and uh, Mega Man and Base, like I was saying earlier, I got the two Legacy Collections on Switch. So that's Mega Man 1 through 11 on one system. Very easy to just, like, pop in and play. And, you know, that would be way easier to stream from this than, um... Hooking up the NES or, you know, any other iteration of the games I have. Like, I have the GameCube Anniversary Collection. Boy, oh boy. I hope someone at Capcom was fired for mixing up the A and B buttons for that. I don't know who playtested that and said, yeah, I like the reversed buttons. What were they thinking? So, uh, I, I have not... Like, once Virtual Console was a thing that happened, I have not touched the GameCube collection in a long time. I couldn't even tell you where my love for Mega Man came from. Probably cover art did it for me, renting it at a store. Uh, you know what? I, I can attest to that, uh, in a sense. I own... I still own... A strategy guide for Mega Man Legends. Mega Man Legends. I have never played Mega Man Legends. I never owned a PlayStation. And I have the strategy guide for it. Based solely on the fact that I knew a little bit about Mega Man at the time. And also I thought the art was really cool. I think... I got it at Toys R Us. And I went in there looking for a Pokemon uh, strategy guide for, like, red and blue. And I didn't find it. And I think I just didn't want to walk out empty-handed. And I was like, here's something cool looking, I'll get this as well. So, yeah, that's... I still have that. It's in my drawer somewhere. 
And one day I will play that game. <laughs> Even if it's in the N64 uh, version. Oh boy. Ironically, you need a super good capture card to do decent streams from the old hardware. Yeah, I haven't done... I did test out, like, the, uh... You know, I tested out the N64 and the SNES, and those seem to work alright. But I haven't actually, you know... The true test will be to do a uh, couple hour long stream on a Super Nintendo or N64. Or, you know, so far I've, I'm sticking to stuff with the HDMI hookup just because it's like, it's easier, it's more reliable. I'm a little more uh, confident with it. But, you know, there's a lot of stuff that I have on these original systems that I don't have in any other form, so. Like,. And like I said with like the Game Boy games, like if I do the Mario Land, Mega Man 2, and Kirby stream, that'll all be on, um, <clears throat> excuse me, that will all be on uh, either Super Game Boy or through the Game Boy Player on GameCube. So one way or another, uh, it's going to be on an old system. But we'll we'll get there eventually, I guess. I'm I'm at this weird point. Like I have a list of like all these games I wanna I wanna stream. But like I said, I think I said this at the beginning. I'm kind of trying to pick these other games that I don't know how to describe it. Like these other games that I'm not that I don't think are going to be as interesting to stream. Uh, and, like, I want to save, like, certain games for when I have more of an audience and, like, people will actually see them happen. But that may never even happen, so... I have my Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3, and Mega Man 6 hearts from when I was a kid. I've been very fortunate to have the composers of Mega Man 1 and Mega Man 2 sign my cart? That is awesome. Uh, I know I was just, you know, saying, like, I don't really know the composers that well, but, um, you know, to have anybody who worked on the game uh, sign it is, like, amazing. The only... I know there's like a music credit in uh, Mega Man 3 that just says like Bun Bun. And then Mega Man 1 has Yuki Chan's Papa. And I think that's in this one as well, maybe. But other than that, I don't, I don't know any Mega Man composers. Which is shameful, because I know, you know, so many composers for other games. And this being one of my favorite series, I don't know, like, any. And I, I would love to be able to put a name to... I mean, the, the... The Mega Man music has been... Consistently fantastic. I mean, like, I don't like... Uh, five and six as much. They feel kind of dull to me. And then, uh... Like, seven... Seven and eight have, like, good soundtracks, but they don't quite feel Mega Man-ish. But they're good in their own right. And I guess it was just, like, they're, you know, they're dealing with, uh... new hardware, and it's like, you know, what is... Oh, boy. <laughs> I want to play Kirby Tilt and Tumble on a Game Boy Player. Sam, I was going to do that as a special stream eventually. I have that <laughs> I have that written down in my notes. That was going to be a special surprise thing. I was going to put Kirby Tilt and Tumble in a fucking GameCube and try to play it on stream. 
<laughs> uh, the viewers will come naturally. The more variety you have will bring viewers who like those games. For example, me finding you playing Mega Man 2. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of how I'm hoping things will happen. Is just maybe, you know, here and there, I'll pick up somebody who will just be, like, searching for uh, the game they like, and I'll happen to be playing it. Um, which is probably a more common occurrence if you're playing something new, like, that just came out that's, like, really popular right now. Um... So it's, it's by great chance that uh, you were able to find this, which is awesome. Um, but I'm hoping, like, you know, I, I tweet it out, and I post about it on, like, you know, whatever social media outlets I can. But I don't know when everybody's available. I don't know when, uh, or I don't know if they're actually interested. Um... You know, I gotta make a, <laughs> I gotta make a conscious effort not to talk about it too much because then it's like too, you know, meta and like, I'm I'm just glad that you guys are here. Like, I don't want to take away from the fact that anyone at all is here. Um, and I know it's not going to be like, um. A thousand fucking viewers right out of the gate. That's not happening. Um, but I, I wish I was able to like reach more of like my friends and usual followers, like on Twitter and stuff, which doesn't seem to be happening. But like I said, I mean this is only the second stream, so who knows? It's not a race. I would just like to, you know. It's with anything. Like when I was making cartoons and stuff, it, you you don't want your stuff to go unnoticed, and it is kind of discouraging. But at the, it makes you appreciate the people who are there. All the more. Yeah, we're gonna be doing this. Uh, the pause trick. Because if you fuck up this boss, you're kind of screwed. You have just enough crash bombs to take out uh, the boss and the walls necessary. And if you run out, uh, like if you fail this boss, you have to kind of farm those uh, Sniper Joes or... Uh, or weapon energy and get all your crash uh, bombs back or you can game over uh, and I'm going to take an e-tank just in case because God knows that will end up happening this one is always the trickiest for me to get into trying to get up in that little crevice there because you can't I only have one crash bomb left so you can't break that wall there we go Carrying fans from one thing to the other doesn't always work out. That's just how it is. That is absolutely true. Um, because if they're following you for one thing, then they might not be interested in the other thing. So, I mean, I totally get it, you know. It, it is what it is. I'm just hoping as this goes on, there will be more people and... I will see more of my friends in chat and be like, hey, how are you doing? And uh, Maybe they'll share it with their friends or, you know, whatever. I don't know. It's not a big deal. And then, the, you know, the VODs can be watched at any time, so somebody could, you know, discover them later on, so... It's whatever. So 
So here's like the one time I'll use uh, atomic. Oh, okay, two times. Two times I'll use atomic fire. Since I did not use that on Woodman before, and that is not needed anywhere else. I was concerned about chatters too, but there are a lot of lurkers too. Um, yeah, I mean, as long as I have just like a cut, like chat is good right now. Like that's fine. I got three people talking. That's great. Um, as as far as I can tell, you know whether or not my thing is accurate. I'm still not sure. You three in chat are the only three viewers, <laughs> but. Yeah, I, I understand, you know, not everyone is going to come to a stream to be visible. They just want to sit and watch, maybe. They don't want to, like, interact or, like, talk to anybody. I'm kind of the same, really. Uh, unless it's, like, a friend with a small chat that moves at a slow pace, then I'll feel like talking. But, like, if I'm watching, like, a larger streamer with like a chat that's going 90 miles an hour. I'm not gonna bother saying anything. And I I would very much like to just have low-key chill streams with a few people chatting, maybe a few more just watching in the background and you know just chill and play games and talk. Uh, so what are we doing here? I apologize for the flashing. I do understand lurking, I just feel like I falter more if I don't have someone to talk to. Which might mean I need sort of a co-host, even though I'm the only one playing a game. No, I mean, I said this on the last one, uh, the last stream, that I was very concerned of, and that's why I put off streaming for so long, was because I thought I needed a partner, and that's why I never did, like, Let's Plays or anything, and I didn't have anyone to really do it with, and I was like, there's no way in hell... I'm going to be able to be interesting and keep talking and play a game at the same time. And yeah, especially like if no one's in chat, and I said this earlier, uh, then you really don't have anybody to talk to, and you just kind of got to talk to yourself and come up with topics, but I was really surprised at the previous stream that I did in fact talk like the entire time even though there weren't that many people here. Um, and I, I, like, I didn't shut up. I've had a lot more dead air on this stream than I did last time. Um, but it hasn't been too bad today, either. That is a horrible noise. I hate that every time I play this game. Sometimes filling in dead air with commentary is okay, but it's okay to play with the game as it is too. Which is what I do most of the time when speedrunning, just concentrating. Yeah, and, that, and that's why I started... Like I said, for a long time, I, I wanted to do something like this. I wanted to do a Let's Play, and I had no one to do it with. And then I kind of like got into... I started noticing streaming becoming more popular, and I thought, I want to do that. Um, but I always thought I needed a partner, and then the more I watched streaming, the more, uh, casual and chill it felt, as opposed to a Let's Play, where it's not live, 
and it gives off a different vibe of like you have to be talking and you have to be on the entire time whereas with a stream even if you're watching it later on when it's not live I, I guess you still kind of know in the back of your mind like this was live at some point and there were other people watching it so it doesn't matter as much um, if there were you know bits of dead air and silence or like if you had to just concentrate on playing the game uh, it, it feels more understandable but I would still like to be able to talk as as much as possible and like keep things going. And I think I've done okay without sacrificing the gameplay too horribly. I mean, I finished it, so there's that. Wide man. <laughs> Look at all these emotes. These are like the first custom emotes I've had in chat. <laughs> but yeah, that was... Wow, we did a double feature tonight. I did not plan on that. And, uh, wow. Yeah, I also did not expect to go three hours. But, you know... I, I want to aim for between two and four, so yeah, that's right in the middle. Oh, I wasn't shit. I wasn't paying attention to the uh, credits, and I meant to look at the uh, music composition, which I'm sure I've seen, like, several dozen times in my life uh, of how many times I've played this game. Ooh. So I see Fishman, though. Gotta give special thanks to Fishman. Alright. Well, yeah. There's... Two more games in the hole. Um, let's get out of this. Not that it really matters. Never really looked through uh, these. The the Legacy Collection Two feels a lot less haphazardly put together. But, the challenges are not as interesting in Legacy Collection 2. God, I... This is what I was talking about. This is the... I fucking love this artwork. Like, just these enemies. Like, I would love to just have a design session of things like this. That's like one of my favorite pictures of Mega Man right here. So badass. And he was so cute early on too. Not that he's not cute now, but like... He's a little more... Refined, I guess? But yeah. Well, anyway. Now finish DKC2. Yeah, that'll that'll also have to be a, a... I guess that'll be a double feature. Because, like, there's one world left. And I think I'm just gonna do that and go into DKC1. And we can probably do that in the same way we did tonight. Um, I'm obviously gonna break up the VODs, but... Yeah. Alright. Doodle Dip! How did I get Doodle Dip in my chat? <laughs> Haven't had a good doodle dip in a while. Vinny's been holding out on us. Alright, well... Thank you, guys. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you... I mean... Josh, Sam, you guys were here the, the whole... The whole time. 
Thank you so much, and thank you for talking. And uh, thank you as well, Ratson, for coming in. I know I'm, I'm sorry that was like right at the end, but uh, you know, thanks for you know coming in and talking Mega Man. That was I really appreciate that. That was awesome. So um, yeah, hopefully this will continue to be a thing that happens. Um, I like this thing where you start a sequel game and then play the one before it. Yeah, that was not intentional, but I just picked Mega Man 2 because it was like, what game do I know the best out of the rest of them and can finish the fastest? So I just went with that. And that's kind of the same thing with the Donkey Kong Country games, so it just kind of worked out that way. I'm like, maybe one day I'll stream, like, Super Mario Brothers 2, and then top it off with Super Mario Brothers 1. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, alright, cool. We got another stream in the, in the books here. Um, hopefully we'll, uh, keep this going. I don't know when the next one will be, but, you know, you guys know to keep an eye out on Twitter or, you know, turn the notifications on. I, I decide kind of last minute. Uh, thanks for the stream. Check out my runs if you want to. Hope to tune in soon. Yeah, absolutely. I will go check that out and see <laughs> how much uh, better you are at Mega Man than I am. <laughs> and maybe I can learn a thing or two. Um... Uh, I don't watch that many speedruns, but, like, God, when I do, that is the coolest shit. Some of those things that get, uh, that people pull off that I will never be able to do. I can just play the games at, like, face value relatively well, and that's about it. I can't do any good speedrunning tricks. Alright. Well... Once again, thank you guys, uh, and have a good night, and I will see you later. Thanks for stopping by.